everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Pampero. This one's designed by Julian Pombo and is published by Ape Games who are helping sponsor this playthrough. Uh, in this game, Monique and I are going to be competing to build out the energy grid in Uruguay. We're going to try to fulfill contracts as well as interact with our neighboring countries. Yes, and whoever has the most money at the end of the game is going to be the winner. Mm -hmm. And so as per usual, we are going to start with a general overview of how the game is played and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you are interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. And we do have to mention this is a prototype copy of the game, so things are subject to change in the future. If you are interested in the campaign, there is that link in the description, which you can always check out. Also, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that... We are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two player game of Pampero. Welcome to Uruguay, as Thank well you. as uh, some of the neighboring countries. Yes, we have Argentina and we have Brazil. Yes. And so just to kind of give you the lay of the land, the main board over here is split into different zones. We have A1, 2, and 3, two zones labeled B, as well as one labeled C. Mm -hmm. And so over the course of the game, we're going to be building out wind farms, as well as electrical towers, in order to fulfill contracts and score points. Now, at the start of the game, each player starts with $25. And so over the course of the game, we're going to be spending our money in order to build out these structures and we'll be gaining money back in the form of income. And so at the end of the game, it's going to be whoever has the most money is going to be the winner. Now, the game is played over the course of several rounds and each round, players will be taking three actions. Now, at the start of the game, each player has the same set of eight identical action cards. And so the way that the game works is we're going to be playing these action cards to our player boards over here, either in the top row or the bottom row, in order to pay the cost and take the action in the indicated zone. Actions taken using the top row are slightly cheaper than the bottom row, but they can only be performed in zones A as well as B. The bottom row can be performed in zones B and C. In addition, when playing action cards to your board, you must play them in the leftmost available spot of that row. And so the leftmost spots are going to be the more expensive spots, yep. and it gets cheaper uh, the closer you get to the right side. Right, right. And so we're just going to go ahead and give a brief overview of the main types of actions that you'll be taking using these cards, but we will leave out the specific details for the playthrough. Mm -hmm. All right, the first type of action that you can take are uh, building wind farms. And so wind farms are a way for you to gain energy, which you'll see in the future you'll need in order to uh, build batteries and in order to fulfill contracts. Right. Now, in general, when playing cards to your player board, especially those that require you to build things onto the board or to claim contracts, you have to pay money. And the amount of money that you pay is going to be dependent on which zone you build and which space your card is on. Yep. These first two spaces, the only option is building in zone A. And it's if you can kind of see really small right there, it requires you to pay $8. As soon as you start uh, playing cards into, say this spot over here, you'll now have the option of either uh, performing the action in zone A or in zone B. So you just slide the card over depending on where you want to perform the action. Yeah, you're going to expose just one letter only. Yes, exactly. And so when building wind farms, you have to pay the cost, but you also gain energy. And the amount of energy that you gain is also going to be printed on the player board. In this example, I would pay $8 and I would gain one energy. Mm -hmm. Now, this board on the right-hand side over here is going to be very important in a number of different ways, namely uh, in collecting income, in building out these buildings, as well as in tracking the amount of energy you have at any given time. Anytime you gain energy, you're going to move your token up along this track. And so if I were to build a wind farm, I would move this up by one, just like that. Mm -hmm. This track is going to be very important for when we build batteries as well as when we fulfill contracts, but we'll discuss that later. Mm -hmm. In addition, any action cards that have this sort of bullseye target symbol on them is a space where you can place a bonus token. And so each player starts the game with this double-sided bonus token, which will either get you $3 or on the opposite side, one energy. Yep. So as you can see, that is a universal symbol for energy. And so if I were to place this action card to build a wind farm, I could optionally also place this right there. And that'll also gain me that bonus. Now that token and card is going to stay here until you decide to retrieve your cards, which we'll talk about in a second. Mm -hmm. Now when building structures onto the board, whether it be your wind farms or your electrical towers, there has to be a bulldozer on the space in which you want to build, but it doesn't matter who the bulldozer belongs to. Mm -hmm. Now, at the start of the game, we each start with our bulldozer on this sort of a mixed space. Any spaces that look like that can house either one of those types of buildings. If I wanted to build a wind farm using that space, I would pay all costs associated to the bank. However, if I wanted to use a space that's occupied by Naveen's bulldozer, I would have to pay all costs to him. Mm. And keep in mind that money in this game is points. Mm -hmm. So you're giving up points, essentially. So that would be a 16-point swing in this particular case. Right. And so whenever you build a structure onto the board, 
you're going to place the structure onto that space and then the bulldozer gets kicked out and whoever owns the bulldozer gets to decide what space to put it on. Either another empty space in the same zone or one of the neighboring zones. Mm -hmm. So in moving your bulldozer, you can only cross one uh, border line, yep. essentially. Alternatively, anytime you need to move a bulldozer, you can also move it to one of the spaces over on the left side here. This is sort of like a waiting area that can hold any number of bulldozers in case you kind of get blocked out of spaces. Mm -hmm. Or you can place it on one of these um, immediate bonus spaces. These spaces can only hold one person's bulldozer, and once you put a bulldozer there, it stays there forever. Yeah, you get the benefit that's there, but that bulldozer's out of the game for you. Right, and we'll talk about those benefits as we play the game. And that's essentially it for building wind farms specifically. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they're mainly used for uh, gaining you energy, but they can also be used sometimes with end game scoring. In addition to building wind farms, you can also build electrical towers, which are arguably one of the most important parts of the game. Yep. Building these follows the same sort of protocol as building wind farms in the sense that you have to pay depending on the zone and you have to use either your own or your opponent's bulldozers uh, to place it in one of those empty spaces. However, you do not gain energy, unlike the wind farms. Right. In addition, this specific card that allows you to build out uh, the electrical tower alternatively allows you to pay batteries instead of money for building it. We haven't discussed how to make batteries yet, but this is a way for you to not spend points yep. in order to build out this electrical tower. Mm -hmm. Now, just like the wind farms, we are each going to start the game with one of our electrical towers already in zone A. And so the significance of these towers is multifaceted. As you can see, all of your electrical towers are gonna to be placed on your PG&I board over here. And so below each electrical tower are various symbols. And these basically represent the types of contracts that you are able to fulfill. At the start of the game, we're only allowed to fulfill contracts that have the residential symbol, the remote contracts, which are brown, as well as solar contracts. We cannot fulfill any other types of contracts until you unlock that electrical tower from your board. Mm -hmm. Now, over the course of the game, especially when fulfilling contracts, we'll be moving up our income markers in this space over here. And so at the end of each round, we're going to be collecting income depending on how far these markers have progressed in this area. Yep. These electrical towers also determine how far up on these tracks these income markers can advance. And so at the start of the game, this first electrical tower corresponds to this specific band of income level. And so you can only progress each marker up to about $4 right here. Yep. As soon as you build your third electrical tower, this now unlocks this specific band. So there is a, uh, a little kind of line that differentiates which uh, band each electrical tower corresponds to. Yep. The other thing is whenever we fulfill contracts, we're going to be placing them in the lower half of our PG&I board. And so these electrical towers also determine which spaces are um, eligible for you to place these contracts in. Mm -hmm. So clearly at the start of the game, you can only place them in this column. And the last thing is these electrical towers will also determine how many batteries you can, uh, you can create. And so, like I said, we'll be discussing those uh, in a second. Sure. Now, after you build an electrical tower on the board, you also immediately claim two bonuses from this bonus board over here. Now, the bonuses that you're allowed to take must be orthogonally adjacent to each other, and they have to be in an eligible zone. So if I built my electrical tower in zone B2, I can take any two bonuses that are next to each other in either section A or section B. Which also means if I built a tower in zone C, any two that are adjacent to each other on the board are eligible. Mm -hmm. And this also includes anything that you see pre-printed on the board? Yes. The only difference is if you choose a tile, you're going to take it and place it into your Tableau board. Yes, and you're going to put it on its uh, pre-printed space. So, for example, if I were to have built in B2 and I wanted, say, these two uh, bonuses, I would gain a battery from the supply, since that's its pre-printed bonus, and then I would take this tile and place it uh, in its corresponding spot. And so this tile specifically allows me to move that income marker up one space because it has that uh, right arrow. Yep. And just so you know, a lot of these bonus tiles give you an immediate bonus, but some of them are for end game scoring. And so we will discuss those as we play the game as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the third main type of action are going to be fulfilling contracts. And so in this game, there are four different types of contracts. There are standard contracts that are delineated by zone. There are remote contracts, which are brown. There are foreign contracts that belong to either of these two uh, neighboring countries. Yep. And then there are solar contracts. Now, in order to fulfill a contract, you have to play either of these two action cards that allow you to do so. The protocol works the same way yep. as in building these uh, structures. You have to pay the cost associated with whichever uh, zone you're going to be fulfilling a contract from. And there has to be an electrical tower present in that zone. Again, it doesn't have to belong to you, but if it doesn't belong to you, then you pay the cost associated to the person who owns it. 
And so just as an example, right off the bat at the start of the game, we are allowed to fulfill uh, contracts with residential symbols in zone A, because that is where we have electrical towers. So if I were to take this action, I pay the cost. I also pay an energy cost that's going to be printed either on the board or on the tile itself for a remote contract specifically. Mm -hmm. And then I take the contract off the board. So say, for example, I was fulfilling this one, I would pay all the costs associated and I would place it onto my PD&I board in an available space. If it's the first contract, you have to place it on a leftmost space of one of these three starting uh, rows. So say, for example, I were to place it here, and then I would put my transformer in uh, the spot where I took the contract from. Typically, whenever you take these actions, you can only fulfill one contract per action. But if you fulfill a contract that has this uh, linking symbol, you can also fulfill the other one as long as you meet its requirements. So in this case, Monique would have to pay an additional two energy to do this and also have the ability to uh, satisfy this kind of contract. Right, which requires me to have built out my second uh, electrical tower over here. Starting with the second contract onwards, I can either place it on one of these two starting spots for the other two rows, or I can place it adjacent to one that I've already placed, as long as I've unlocked the electrical tower for that column. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be able to place it here yet until I build this, but I could, say, place it here, Although there are also these pre-printed requirements on the board, some of them determine uh, what type of contract you're required to place in that specific spot. Like say for this spot, it has to be a solar contract. And then others are a fee that you have to pay for placing contracts on other side of it. So if I were to place a second contract right here, I would have to pay one energy in order to do so because it's connecting the two spaces. Fulfilling these contracts, by the way, will let you move up an income for that specific symbol. So this one will let me move up my residential income up by one. In addition, uh, there are these spaces on the board that have that house these bonus tiles. And so if all of the contracts on that are connected to the bonus tile have already been taken by somebody and you were to place the last one, then you get to collect the bonus tile. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, if you're the person to to satisfy the very last contract yeah. and this is still available, then you would take it. Yes, and then you can put it out just like how we explained uh, the other bonus token. Contracts are going to be very important, by the way, for where, when we score uh, in the two times during the game as well as at the end of the game. Solar contracts will explain during our playthrough because uh, we can't actually build any of those using our standard eight action cards. And foreign contracts work very similarly, except they require you to pay batteries. And so each card will tell you how many batteries you have to pay, as well as what you would get in return. So in this example, you would get $10 as well as whatever the income is for that specific token. And that's essentially it. Those are the three main things that you're going to be seeing us doing during the gameplay. There are a few other action cards. And so just really briefly, this card allows you to move your bulldozers to uh, different areas of the board. You can either move two of them once or one of them twice, but you have to pay a battery in order to do so, yes. as well as the cost. Right. And this card allows you to take a loan, essentially. And the way that loans work is you kind of place them at the top of your PD&I board over here, but only in one of the spaces that's unlocked by your electrical towers. And then you take the amount of money depending on where you place the card. So if I were to place it here, I would get $10, as well as the highest income marker that's listed in the spot. Right. So that makes sense. So if I were to place it here, I would gain $2 in addition to the 10. Yeah. It's not a very lucrative decision. Definitely the smarter move in this situation, because again, you can only expose one of these letters. You'd probably want to slide it to C, exposing ah. $17, yes. and then taking income. So it's a little bit better. Yes, that's right. Because at the end of the game, for each of these uh, loans that you took, you have to pay back $30. 30. So keep that in mind uh -huh. and calculate that properly. Yeah. And by the way, just so you know, for the income track over here, as soon as one marker reaches or passes this sort of beige vertical line, mm -hmm. then you get to take an additional um, specialist card. Yeah. And so these are specialist cards. They're either additional action cards that you can put into your hand and then now use just like the other action cards. Yep. And so this specific action card here is what will allow you to fulfill the solar contracts. Or you can take scoring cards, and scoring cards are played during the uh, three different times in which we'll score points. Now on your turn, if you didn't want to play any of these action cards, there are two other options for you to do. Yes. You can either retrieve all of your cards as long as you have minimum two action cards on your player board. Mm -hmm. And uh, in doing so, you're actually going to uh, move your your marker up one space on the time track over here. Yep. This is significant because it'll determine turn order for the next round. And as soon as everybody has crossed or at least met 
one of these, uh, this specific space over here, then we're going to have this mid-game scoring. Yep. This is truly going to determine the timing of the game, that's because right. as soon as we all get to this spot over here, that's when the game ends. And the other option is you can just pass. If you really want a battery, you don't have any money, you don't really want to pick up any cards, you can pass and just take a battery. It's inideal, but sometimes you have to do it. Yeah, and if you pass on, say, action number one, you can still take a different action when it goes to action number two. Because like we were mentioning earlier, you're going to take three actions every round. It's just one of your options. Mm -hmm. And once everyone's taken all three actions for the round, then you resolve a few end of round steps. That includes picking up one card from your player board that's in the rightmost position, mm -hmm. adjusting turn order, and collecting income, as well as making batteries. And so that's sort of the last thing here. Sure. Yeah. When you're making batteries, you're going to look at where your token is on the energy tracker over here, and you're going to draw an imaginary line upwards all the way to this area where your electrical towers are. And so as a better example, if my uh, energy marker were here on six, and say I had all of these built, sure. I would draw a line all the way upwards, and then everything from that spot onward to the left is how many batteries I actually get to make. So in this example, I'm going to make two batteries because there actually is no uh, battery printed symbol on the first spot. And that's essentially a majority of the game. This first scoring criteria will allow us to gain money equal to however many symbols that we have specifically on A contracts yep. multiplied by their markers on the marker space. And this is friendly. Everybody's going to be doing this for all four of these types of symbols. The second scoring uh, tile is not, not friendly. Not friendly. No. It's going to be, it's only going to go to whoever has the most number of symbols in each of those categories. Right. And you score them uh, individually. And then these uh, end game bonus tiles we'll just discuss at the start of our playthrough. Mm -hmm. So anything that we didn't go over during this teach will likely be going over during the playthrough. So we're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up and then we'll get started. Okay, so we reset the board. We are ready to go. We just need to figure out who is going to be going first. Odds or evens? Uh, evens, I'll go. Okay, yeah. one, two, three. Odds. Okay, so it's going to be me. You yep. want to go ahead and reflect that yeah. on the turn order track? Yeah, stretch. There we go. All okay, right. Perfect. So just a few things before we get started. Uh, the first thing is a lot of these symbols are very, very small printed on the board. Mm -hmm. And so these are going to be like mainly requirements for uh, getting contracts and such. If it's hard to see, we're just going to read them out loud. Yep. The other thing is this is a prototype copy of the game. And so our copy did not come with any uh, physical money. And so just so you know, these do not come with the game. This is a different product entirely. We're just going to be using it uh, to keep track of our money. So I think we're ready to get started. Are you ready? Yep, let's do it. All right. So it's going to start with me. And again, at the start of the round, we go straight into actions. So here we go. And actually, there is one more thing. Our end game scoring tiles. So you always play with two of them. Mm -hmm. One is A and one is B. And the game comes with several of them. And so for our A bonus tile, whoever has the most of these standard contracts from zone A at the end of the game is going to get $15. And then everybody, for each leftover energy you have, it's $1. And then for the B tile over here, whoever has the most of these commerce symbols, and that's going to be on contracts on your board, bonus tiles that you take from here to place on your board, as well as the symbols on your foreign contracts, mm -hmm. whoever has the most of those commerce symbols will get $15. And in addition, everybody gets $5 for every uh, electrical bonus tile from the A zone. Now we know what we're getting for. Yes. All right. So for my first action, since we start with one energy and one battery, I'm going to go ahead and build an electrical tower in zone A. So I'm choosing the top row. Again, you have to choose the top row or the bottom row and all the way to the left. So I can only do zone A, which is great because we need uh, zone A contracts and such for our first uh, scoring time here. Mm -hmm. And since this is the first time we're building an electrical tower, first thing is I need to make sure I have a bulldozer here. So clearly I'm going to use mine. And this space here is for either windmill or uh, electrical tower. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay the cost. Typically it's $8 for this spot, but because I'm using this specific action card, I can pay using batteries. And so since it's in zone A, I'm going to just pay one battery. My last one. One and only. <laughs> there it goes. Now I get to place out my electrical tower and oh my gosh, <laughs> I just noticed. You got this a transformer is not, in there. That's a transformer. That it's goes not the log. There right there. Go. Okay. That's the reset. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and place it where my bulldozer is. So you so paid to the bank that I, battery. I did. Yep. I paid my battery to the bank and now I get to move my bulldozer to, um, there are no more available spots in A2. So I got to move to either A1 or A3. And I'm thinking I'm going to move into A3 over here. Okay. So I'm going to move my bulldozer to uh, one of these wind farm spaces. Okay. There are no mixed spaces, unfortunately, on this area of the board. Sure. And so I think I'm going to take these two bonus tiles. So again, yeah. they have to be orthogonally adjacent to each other. So uh, these two are valid because they are in the A area, which is the zone I built in. And I'm going to place them on their spots. This one goes there. This one goes here. 
So this one is an ongoing effect that when I when I go through my consolidation phase and I pick up a card, it does not have to be the rightmost card. Oh wow! I can choose which one to take from. Very good. And then this one just immediately allows me to either move a bulldozer or get a new one. So I think I'm going to get a new one. And you can place it anywhere on the board. So I think I'm going to put it on an electrical tower spot here. Oops. In A1. Interesting. So there's that. Now I have to remove a token from A, so I'm just gonna remove this one. This is out of the game. And that's it, that is my action. I'm actually supposed to put this token right there. I always forget to do that. Yep. Signify that that was my first action. So now it is to you, Naveen. Yeah, so it's gonna look very similar. The world uh, is not wasted. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking my first action. Okay. Let's go ahead and lay out a card and I'm gonna do the exact same kind of thing that you just did. Okay. Uh, because I don't wanna pay uh, for this. I don't want to pay eight bucks. <laughs> I'll pay fair. the battery that I'm given. Who wants to pay? Yeah. So there you go. That okay. goes back to the bank. Uh, and I also am going to be building out one of my electrical towers. We're going to move it here and then we're going to push my bulldozer into the slot right over there. Okay. So I don't like what you've done by coming over here, but it's okay. What would you like uh, to take? Okay, I think the first one I want to pull is at the very top. It's the one that says, uh, for every whenever I earn a battery, this I one? get two bucks. Yeah. Okay, what's the other one? The other one is going to be the battery right below it so that oh. I can chain it. Nice. So it's okay. going to be one, right? First one I have. Uh, this is going to go into play. And then now I'm going to claim the battery that's printed on there. So because I'm claiming a battery, I get two bucks. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. I guess that's how that works, right? Yeah. I spent so, a battery, got it back, and I get two bucks. There's your battery. Here's two dollars. Oops. So the sorry. thing is, though, I'm, I did not take a token, which means instead of getting five dollars at the end of the game, I got two right now. That's Hopefully, true. I can stack this to make it worthwhile. Though. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. You're doing the math much, uh, yeah. <laughs> much more thoroughly, yeah. thoroughly than I am. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> that effect, by the way, that specific bonus tile you have is cumulative. Yes. So if you were to take another one of those, then it's going to be four dollars every time you take a battery, which is in your best interest now to start making batteries, right? right. All right, what are you going to discard? Uh, that middle one with the B on it. This one right here? Yeah, I don't like it. All right, it is out. Okay, so then it goes back to me for action number two. And let me just go ahead and put this here now. Don't action forget. two. I think I'm going to build another electrical tower. So now I will have to pay money. Okay. Uh, and the only way for me to do this now that I've played this card is using this one. So this is kind of a jack of all trades. Uh, you can use this card to either build either type of building or uh, complete a contract. But the difference is when building an electrical tower, I cannot pay batteries. I can only use this card to do which, that. Which you don't have anyway. So. I don't have any batteries. Yeah. Thanks for uh, rubbing that in. Just so I'm going to place it here. And so obviously I have to build in zone A. This is going to cost me $6. So now I need some change. I'm going to pay 20 So here's my 14 um, and then I have to place my electrical tower up there because that is where my bulldozer is. I made a mistake. I really should have just put that one up there, but okay. where do you want your bulldozer to go? The bulldozer I'm actually going to kick off and I'm going to take one of those permanent spots. You're going to lock out? I am because I think I can gain another bulldozer um, by doing something with the bonuses. Okay. So these are four spaces where you can put a bulldozer permanently to gain the uh, benefits. There's plus three energy, you can get two batteries, you can get a specialist card, or you can take uh, income of sorts. We're playing on the one to two player side. If you flip it over to the three and four player side, there are more spaces and that, that area is bigger. Mm -hmm. So I'll take the three energy. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Three energy, there you go. Thank you, so I go up to four. Okay. And then I have to take some bonus tiles. So it's still in A. Um, I'm gonna take this one because I really liked what you did there, Naveen. Yeah. So every time you make, uh, you take a battery, it's plus two dollars. Yep. And I'm place it right there. And then I have to take one of the ones orthogonally adjacent. And since it is a scoring criteria, I might as well take the actual tile for the bulldozers. Sure. Oh, it unlocked a nice spot there. Yeah. So since I've already covered up that space on my player board, you pretty much just put it on the next closest space. I'm gonna place it right there. Okay. So you get another bulldozer, or so, you can, or you can move a bulldozer. Right. I'm gonna just take another bulldozer, and oof. You had regrets earlier. I did, but I think I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and place it over here. Into B. Into B two. Okay. And I believe that's it. That mm -hmm. is my second action. Actually, you know what? I don't think I removed a bonus tile. 
Oh, uh, yeah, you got to right? scorch something. Yes, I got to take something Scorching out. Scorching five bucks away from me is what you're doing. I'm going to take this out. This is too good. Yeah. This is a bonus tile that gives you both the plus one energy and the three bucks. I debated mm. getting it, but the placement wasn't too good. It wasn't good. All right, back to you, Naveen. And in hindsight, I think I can technically, I technically could have put my bulldozer up there, which would block off the other electrical tower spot. And uh, it would be kind of a mean move. There's only two of us playing, There's right? only two of us playing. But I think in what higher player doing? counts, the game kind of wants you yeah. to block off spots and force your opponents to pay you. Right. So but we're not going to do that today. I'm going yeah, to stay nice. in B. What are you doing? Okay, the next thing I think I want to do is now that I'm in this section here, I think I'm going to build out uh, a wind farm. Okay. So I'm going to play this one right here. It's going to cost me six. So here is six. Thank you. Uh, and then on this one, I think I'm going to play my bonus token. So I'm going to okay. play my bonus plus one. So uh, essentially what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get one energy plus another one energy for having this one here. Right. So I'm going to put out, well, this is actually two. I got to remember that. Uh -huh. I'm going to put out the windmill yep. where it belongs here. Uh, okay. And then I'm also going to get myself two energy. So yep. one, two. And then I paid my six. And so now this bulldozer is going to get shifted. It's going to get moved right into this slot right over there that prime spot i needed that spot all right uh so that is i believe that's everything all right here we go so action three i two i'm going to build another wind farm okay. so it's going to be in zone a i only have one bulldozer who will give me that ability so sure. it's over there um i have to pay five dollars five bucks yeah for that and i too will place this out so let's just go ahead and do that mm -hmm. um i get a lot of energy yeah, it'll give me energy, plus it'll give me the battery anyway, so I might as well do it for the energy, Sure. right? Okay, so here is my wind uh, farm there, and then, oh, where do I move the, I guess I'll move the bulldozer yeah, I would imagine, yeah. to another electrical uh, tower spot. Um, and then I get my two energy, so one, two. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's me. Those are all of my actions for this round. Okay, uh, last action for me. I'm going to come on down here. I will play my wild card, and I'm going to play it for the uh, building of the energy tower. Okay. So let's go ahead and place that there. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot use the battery, uh, just like uh, we had said earlier. It's going to cost me five bucks. Uh-huh. Uh, so I need 15 change, if you don't mind. No problem. There you go. Cool. That Thank is you. 15. You're welcome. 15 to me. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and place out this energy tower. And let's go ahead and get it right where it belongs. Right, right there. there. Okay. So now I'm going to move this bulldozer. I think I'm just going to move into this wild slot that's Ooh. in B1. I don't know if it's time to be there, but there's nowhere <laughs> else to go in A2 because they're all full. So I mean, you could still go to another uh, if you want to build another wind farm. I don't think I want to. There. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll <laughs> stick with that right Yeah, it there. doesn't seem entirely necessary unless you need the energy, yeah. I suppose. Uh, so, because I did this, I do get um, two bonus tiles, or yep. I, I get the things over there. Yeah, what would you like? So I think I'm going to take the two energy that's printed on the board plus the tile that's next to it. This yeah, one? Exactly. And this? Yep. All right. There you go. All right, so this one says that I get to move up on this track, which is good because we're going to go into income phase soon. Yeah. And so now I got it off the zero block into the one block. I'll that's, get one buck out of it. That's great, especially I'll take considering it. some of these thresholds don't actually go up in value. Yeah. Like a two goes to a two. So. And it's also a symbol for uh, this scoring towards yeah. uh, the end, of uh, uh, the this, second scoring round. So right. I'll keep that right there. And it's worth five. At the <laughs> of that, so. And I must discard, and that's the only one. So it looks like I am, I am at a 10 deficit here to you. And and let's not actually forget the two energy that I talked about. So yep. we're going to go one, two, from three to five. Nice. That puts me right in this little range. Right. Needed that. All right. Now that we've both taken all three of our actions, we are each going to have a consolidation phase. Yep. So we didn't go over this in the teach. Starting with me, I am first going to take these back because we're going to start a new round. Okay. Then I have to retrieve a card from my player board. Typically, you retrieve the rightmost card, but because I have this bonus tile, I can choose which one to take. Sure. So I think I'm going to take this one back. Yeah, it's good. That's really nice. These do not slide down, so if you are going to no. play here in the future, you must play at the 8th slot. Yes. Then I get to produce batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and look over at my uh, energy track over here, draw an imaginary line going upwards, and then that space and everything to the left is how many batteries I get to produce. That's so going to be one and two, because it's that green symbol yes, there. And you get a bonus because you have that token that says for every time you get a battery, you get two bucks. Right. So you get four. So I'm going to take five and give back one. Yep. All right. Next, I get to collect income. And so my markers have not left the track here. Oh, boy. But uh, below uh, each uh, column is a certain monetary value. So this first column over here is $1 each yep. per marker. 
This one, unfortunately, is at zero dollars. So I'm only gonna get one, two, three, four. Sure. So I'll take back another five and give back a one. And the last part of this phase is I'm going to advance on the time track over here. So uh, as soon as Naveen advances, his will go on top of mine, and turn order is going to be uh, from top to bottom. Yeah, in, so bottom, yeah. in the next round, Naveen will get to go first. Yeah, so if we're pacing at the same pace, then uh, then the turn order is going to switch at, after every round. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go into my consolidation phase. So it's the exact same thing. Uh, I get my three back. Mm -hmm. Um, we also are going to take down this card. Now, I don't have anything sweet that allows me to pull from somewhere else, so I'll mm -hmm. take down this card back into my hand. Okay. Uh, my batteries, I get two batteries because I finally got into this little zone right here, so it's going to be one, two. So you I get... also have the same bonus. Yeah, so do you have a dollar? Uh, I do, yeah. yeah. let's take some change. Here are your two batteries. Two batteries. Thank you. And and it's important to batteries. know that you're not spending your energy, you're simply utilizing it. it. <laughs> I'm making it into batteries. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and collect my income. I was able to get off the block here. So ah. instead of getting four like Monique, I get five. Full five. So I'll take full five. So I'm back to my uh, my starting 25 bucks. That's not bad. That's something with right? some infrastructure built. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, and then we're just going to move on up right here. So now I'm on top. So turn order will switch. All right. So let's go ahead and adjust the turn order yep. before we get uh, started with the second round. Sure. Okay, so now we are going into the next round. Uh, I am going to be first now because the tables have turned a little yes. bit. Yes, <laughs> yes, they have. So I get first choice. All right, so. what are you going to do first? All right, first action, I think it's contract time. I kind of regretted not having oh, some nice. contracts fulfilled going into that income phase. So mm -hmm. I definitely going to want that going now. Okay. So first action, I am going to put out this card here. And this is going to allow me to uh, take over some contracts in the A section. Okay. Uh, because that's the only place where we have uh, the electric uh, fields. Electrical towers. Towers, towers. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, the one I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of the linking ones. So okay. I'm, I'm looking at this one right here. So this is going to be a standard um, contract. Uh -huh. And this is a residential on both of these right here. So it's going to cost me a total of uh, $5. Yeah. Plus, um, uh -huh. plus two energy and one energy for doing this linking one. So three right. total energy. So my five goes down to two, which does not feel very good. Because again, uh, on your turn, when you take this action, you typically can only uh, take one contract. Yes, but since there's except that linking, for the links, yeah. Then it's fine. As long as you meet the requirements in both. That's and right. Being has electrical tower in both zones. Yeah, I have an electrical so tower in both zones, as well as the very first uh, electrical um, tower is also automatically gone in right, the first right. round. So, and that's, so that's where this sits right here. Yep. So I get to take both of these, which is nice. And okay. then uh, I get to uh, get the bonuses that's on them. So uh, I get to move up two uh -huh. spots, as well as another additional Ooh. one spot on so, um, this track. The residential, the track. residential the track. The very bottom. The very bottom, yeah. So it's going to be one, two, three. So... Now when I get income here, I get uh, three bucks instead of the That's original nice. one. And if I can get this just one space over more, I get to take one of these cards, which right. would be really nice. And you can't really see it most likely, but there are two right facing yeah. arrows on this token. That's considered a lucrative contract. Mm -hmm. So that's why you can do the bump up twice. It's a double arrow. Has one. Yep. Awesome. So now I got to think about where am I going to place it on this board here. And also for scoring purposes, each arrow on the lucrative contract counts as one. Right. So I believe this is going to be three of those symbols for you. Exactly. So like when I when we go to the scoring in the multiplier, it's times three for me, mm -hmm. not times two because I have two tokens. Yeah. If that makes sense. Okay. So now I have to place these out onto uh, my board here, and I think I have some some nice things going. So. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here because I have to start on the far left. Uh huh. Um, this transformer is going to go out and show where it belongs. Okay. Uh, the next one, I'm going to place it uh, where it's attached right here into this slot because it's going to give me a bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, the bonus that it says basically is whatever the contract type is, uh, I get to move over uh, in the income track one, one space. space over. So because it's a residential, I'm going to place it down there. We're going to go ahead and put the transformer out where it belongs wow. as well. And now I did move into that kind of brown space right there. So I get to take one of these cards. Nice. So you have two uh, different types at your disposal. There's yeah. the action row or the scoring cards. Right. You know what? Knowing that we are both going to be competing for A contracts, uh -huh. uh, I think I want to take this. <gasps> a scoring card. I think I'm going to take a scoring card. Interesting. Is it foolish? Probably. <laughs> Do I know what I'm doing? No. Well, let's see. The scoring cards are not played as an action. They're never played on your turn. They're only played during scoring rounds, which are these three times. Right. And so once you play it, you have to discard it. It's a one-off. It is one-off. And it basically gives you two different options. 
You can either take some income for one of your A contracts on your board by mm -hmm. multiplying whatever column it's on times two, right. and then you just get that much money. Or during a scoring round, it can count as an additional uh, A contract. Right, yeah, so. so at the very end of the game, we see that we need A contracts, mm -hmm. so I can always hang on to this at the very end, yeah. cash it in, and just do the just kind of do the math on it. It'll get you points no matter what. Yeah, right? exactly, so that's nice. Yeah. Uh, so we, now we put out a new card, and I believe that's the end of my turn. Okay. And this one is very similar, but those are B2 contracts. Mm. So then it goes to me for my first action. And I think because of the way my board is set up here, I want to not have to pay $8. Sure. So I'm going to first uh, build an electrical tower for my first action. So it's a card that I picked up earlier. Ah, it's that's gonna, such a nice bonus you have there. Yeah, that's it's going to allow me to pay a battery since I'm building into zone A. Um, instead of having to pay the money. Sure. And so now I'm going to build an electrical tower in uh, zone A3 over here where okay. my bulldozer is. So it's going to be this uh, tower. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Ooh. Ooh, where do I want to put the bulldozer? Well, seeing as there's nowhere that's really dire, I'm going to move it to that spot over there. Cash it out. Yeah, right. take another one of those bonuses. I'll okay. take the two batteries. Yeah, two batteries is good. Because that also gets me $2, right? That's right. Well, because it gives you four dollars. Oh, four dollars. Yes. Per battery. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's because we both have the same bonus style that yeah. says for every time you get a battery, you get two bucks. Okay. Essentially two points each. So I also, uh, I'll also get the two bonuses. Now they're all just pre-printed bonuses in Zone A. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to take um, two energy, and I think I'll take it from here. These two. So okay. it's two energy and a specialist card. Sure. Just like okay. Vivian did. Makes so sense. six will go to eight, and I get to take a specialist so card. Energy. I think I'm going to take an action card. I'm going to take the one in the middle. This one? Yeah. The solar energy. It's, a, it's the one solar that contracts. allows you to fulfill a solar contract. Okay, that makes sense. So okay. So we're going to reveal another one. All right. Okay. All right, so that's my turn. Now it's back to you for All action right. number two. Okay, I think I'm going to try to lock in this bonus right here by satisfying this contract mm. while I have energy anyway. Nice. So, uh, okay, action two, we are going to do a standard contract. I'll place it in the A zone because that's okay. where it is. Uh, yep. It's going to cost me four bucks, so can I have one change, please? Yes. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so I'm going to take this A contract here. It's going to cost me that one energy that I talked about. Yep, that's printed on the board. Yep, and then I think I'm going to just keep moving this yeah. way. Might as well. Definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it into here. Let's put that transformer out. And so this says I essentially can choose one of the income um, markers and, uh -huh. and take that much income. Obviously, I'm going to want to take the one that gets me the most money. By me having that one arrow, uh, uh -huh. it allows this to bump into the next uh, zone because this has been removed. Right. And so now when I place it on top, I'm going to go ahead and get myself five income. Yeah. So there is an order of operations. Yeah. And so technically, when you take the contract, you move up on your income marker first. Yep. So there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So I believe that you is also my turn. Oh, get yeah. the bonus token. Yes, I do because get Because you were the one who connected the, I think these are power lines. I surrounded it. Yeah, there you go. We so went now, across the water. Yeah. Yeah. Now when you build a windmill, you can slip yes, that on. Yes, I can place it on. Right there. Cool. And you know what? Because I covered up this spot right here, this yep. gives me a bonus bump on a different income track. That's so, right. It's uh, the red one that I cannot recall right now, just off the top of my head, but it's yeah. going to be this one. Okay. It's moving in. So now I go from one to two income. Wow. So we've got some money coming in. You do. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. So back to me for my second action. I am going to claim some contracts as okay. well. I'm jealous. Yeah. So now that it's slightly cheaper for me, sure. um, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna pay four, uh, four dollars. So I'll contracts. get one back. And I'm pretty jealous of what Naveen was able to do there. So I think I'm gonna do uh, these two while I still can. Okay. So that's gonna be a total uh, energy cost of three. Mm -hmm. So eight goes down to five. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take them one at a time. Does it matter what the order I do? I'm gonna go this way. So this is a green residential bump up of okay. one. And I'm going to go ahead and place it here. Yeah, top side, huh? Yeah, so this will go there. Okay. And then for my second one, this is the uh, red, the one right above it. Right. Goes up one. Okay, so total of three energy has been spent. Uh, yeah, total of three energy has been spent. And then I'm going to place this this way. So I'm just going to keep going uh, horizontally. And that gets me a, a brown bump up up there. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Nice. Getting some money. All right. And I think... I think that's it. It wasn't didn't feel as sweet as what you did, sure. <laughs> right? Is that everything? I think so. So you spent the four bucks. Yeah. And then you spent I the spent three energy. I spent the three energy. I placed them both. Did the bubble. Yeah, I 
guess I'm done. <laughs> I mean, you're you're primed to get some batteries. Okay, by you doing that, you uh, you made me kind of rethink what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something else, but I think I'm going to be using my wild card now this time. Uh oh. Uh, and I am. Are you going to take my token? I'm zeroing in on oh this for that bonus gosh, right there. Gosh, you nasty. I think I have to. I think I have to because if not, you're getting. I it. didn't think you were going to do that. Those blue uh, commerce. Uh, that's one of the scoring criteria. Yeah, I know. I wanted it. <laughs> I was working. And if you could deploy it. that every so often to just keep bumping up, then then I'm toast. So I, I need to be able to try to do that. Mm. So I'm going to put this out here. Okay. It's an A contract, so it's going to be uh, two bucks. So can I have three back if you don't sure. mind? Ugh, awful. I only have one energy, and it does cost go. that one energy. So I'm, I'm energy depleted. You're not making any batteries. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm not making Well, I was never going to be making it unless I built like a windmill. But Okay which was possibly my plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to take this as well as the bonus chit. Okay. And I think, I mean, I think well, I should just keep pushing. Well, move up your income marker first. Oh, yes, thank we you. got to make sure we do that. Yeah, so I'm going to move up to here. So which stays as a five. That's unfortunate. And you can, that is an eligible uh, income band. Yes. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. You're getting close to needing to build another electrical yeah, tower. Yeah, I need to I need to do something else now. So that has to be connected to one of the ones already on your board. Yeah, like I cannot go down this way because uh, it it would cost me two energy mm -hmm. and I have literally none. I could go up yeah. this way, right? which I want to do, so I'll do it. Yeah, and you also could start a new row because you're in the middle. It would technically be connected. I, I could. What I, I do like this one right here, mm -hmm. which has a plus one energy if I were to keep keep going that way because energy is is kind of hard to come by. You mm -hmm. have to build a windmill, right, right. which I don't really you gotta, want to do. You got to find some, you got to make some energy. You got to make energy, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that went there and this goes there. All right, and now you have that bonus token. Don't forget about that. Make sure you use them. Sure you use them. All right. Um, well, that yes. was going to be my action. Okay. I was going to do another. Con well, I guess there's nothing stopping me from doing another contract now. I'm still going to uh, secure some contracts for my last action. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. It's going to cost me two dollars because it's at this sweet, sweet, like rightmost spot here. Yeah. So here's this, and then. Uh, I am going to claim, I think I'm going to claim these two. Oh, interesting. It's going to keep me from building batteries, but also I'm the only one with an electrical tower here. So if you want to get any contracts from this zone. I have to drive myself over there. Drive. Yeah, I gotta drive your bulldozer yeah. over to A3. Yeah, okay, so I paid my $2. Um, this is going to cost me a total of four. And again, it, because they're linking, I could do them both in one action. So I go down to one. And, and then I don't think it really matters what order I place them in. Okay. So I'm just going to take this one first and it's going to give me one bump on this bottom uh, residential and one on commerce. Is okay. it? Yep. And then I'm going to place this right here. It'll get me one energy, energy, which is a shame because it's not enough to put me into the next threshold to make a battery. Sure. But <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. And then this one is one up on the umbrella. Yeah. Resorts, I think. Oh, is that what? Is I think right? so. I think it's supposed to be like a beach resort. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And I think since I have that card that'll allow me to build solar, I guess I should just build down this way. Sure. So I'll go. So you cannot build to right the there. right of that. Yeah. Oh no, you can for no, one can. over. Yeah. It's so, the next one over that you can't. Yeah. If I want to build out that so, that uh, solar, solar contract, I need to build that electrical tower. Makes sense. All right. So that goes there. So cool. that is the end of the actions phase. Oh, it goes back to you for consolidation. Maybe. All right. So first thing I believe is we remove these three. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I claim the rightmost card. Yep, back into your hand. Back into my hand. At this point, I would produce batteries. Unfortunately, I am not in any single uh, column that oh, allows me to do that. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, now I get to collect income, which is nice. So yeah. I get one, two, three, four, five, plus another five. That's ten. Oh, wow. Ten is good. That's good. That's ten, ten points. points. Ten points. Okay. And then just advance your marker here. Uh, the yes. There we go. All right. So same with me. I'm going to take these back. I get to retrieve a card, but which one do I retrieve now yeah. is the question. I think I am going to just take this back. Sure. I do still have batteries, and we're kind of getting uh, towards the middle half of the mm -hmm. game where you're going to want to start building into other zones. Right. I, too, will not produce any batteries, so then my income is two, three, wait, oh, these are all twos, huh? Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four times two, plus one. eight plus one is nine. Yeah, good. So not as good as yours. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and move my uh, chit here. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna invert the turn. Yes. There you go. Now we're moving into the third round. Yep. 
and uh, we're definitely going to want to start venturing into uh, other zones soon. I'm but there. I'm there. more importantly, <laughs> we need to get more symbols on our uh, A contracts yes. because that is what this is going to be scoring for. And that's coming up pretty much at the end of this round. Yeah. You know what? Before we move on to the next round, uh, since I just finished my consolidation phase, I just wanted to pick up a different card instead. Okay. With your bonus? Instead of taking the... Instead of taking that one, okay. I'm just going to take the regular um, all the way on the right hand Contract side over one. here. Oh, interesting. Just the normal rules. I'm not activating my bonus tile at all. Interesting. Just picking up that card. Okay. okay. So now we are ready for round three. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Action number one. I am first this time. Okay. So it's almost time to pick up some cards, I'm thinking, right? Yeah, I think so. It's going to happen soon. Yeah. All right. I'm Since I picked it up, and it's going to be scoring time soon. Uh, remember, this scoring tile wants us to have a, a contract specifically. Yeah. So I'm going to play this card here and for $2, <laughs> get some more A contracts. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't have any energy. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. About that. Yeah, that is the big problem. Well, no, I guess I, I can still afford to take that. Just not going to be one of those sweet linking ones. So I'll still I'll still play that card. I'll pay the two dollars, and then I'm going to claim it has to be a contract in A. A. So you got a couple different options. Yeah, I guess I'll take this one. Sure. It's gonna cost me two energy, but at least it has our commerce Scoring uh, symbol on criteria. it. Yeah. So I'm gonna take it and and actually I thought that I would have had to spend the two energy to place this here, but it's only if you use that connection to get right. from here to here, which I'm not doing. I'm going this way. Right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place this here. Uh, where is this from? Here? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And the bonus here says I can move up one on an income marker, which I didn't even move up on this yet. So this moves up green one and blue one. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, shoots Not over. all of them. Yep. I forgot about that bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, not every spot has a square. Sometimes it goes directly to a different threshold. Right. So for the bonus that I covered up, I'm going to move this up one. And I think that's going to get me a specialist card. Uh, yeah, it's because the it's first the time first there. time you reach uh, that column. I guess I'll take the rightmost action card. This one? Yeah, that's going to allow me to get a foreign contract. So it's another way of getting a foreign contract. Or I can collect on one. Or move up on an income track based off of a foreign contract. Yeah, you got some batteries have. also, so you can probably satisfy. Oh, look at this. You can buy batteries. Ah. Which is interesting because we have the bonus of anytime you acquire batteries, you get money. So you get like a little discount. Yeah, that's me. That goes to you for your yeah, perception. Yeah, back to me. Okay, I have these bonus tokens. I really want to get, get them out and play. So yeah. uh, I'm going to just build a windmill in this location in B1. Oh, okay. Our first B windmill. Oh, yeah. So now I'm going to be using the top side here, and I'm going to use uh, the side this way, exposing B instead of going here for 10. Uh -huh. I'm going to do it for 8. Okay. Makes Smart. sense, right? Yes. Yeah. Five. Pay less. Six, seven, eight, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, it seems expensive, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, and I'll go ahead and just put out my um, commerce token on top of it. So I'm going to get a commerce bump right now okay so let's get off the block here i'd like to get here that would be nice <laughs> and because this is a b windmill i'm going to go ahead and put this out onto this location right uh, and because again it's a b i get two energy so i'm off the block and now i can start trying to do a contract at some point yeah uh, okay, and then this bulldozer, I'm just going to have them hang out here because I cannot satisfy any contracts until we have energy going into the, the, the grid. So Yeah, that's uh, fair. That's me. Oh, I got to put this on. <laughs> Very easy to forget. All right, back to me for my second action. And I don't know if this is not good timing, but I think... I think I'm going to pick up my card. Snatching it up. It's like we have less and less business in A, and mm -hmm. I don't really have any more cards in my hand that'll even allow me to take contracts from A. Okay. So either I wait until the round ends or I do this now, essentially. Yeah. So, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Sure. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this action. So this is my second action. And again, you can only do this if you have at least two cards down. And I do. Right, right. Right. So I'm going to take them all and I get my bonus token back. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting this for nice a while. Bonus token. And you're technically supposed to progress. Yeah, you move over. Yeah. So if Naveen also takes that that uh, action then we're going to have a scoring okay i think i know what i'm going to do uh while i have the top row the cheapest it could ever get mm -hmm. i'm going to play this card right here okay. this is that wild card that i keep playing yeah um i'm going to place it right over there and i'm going to slide it over so that the b is exposed uh, so this is going to be action number two okay it's going to cost me six just to perform this action and what i'm going to do is i'm going to build out an electrical fence oh, okay. uh our actual electrical tower and I'm gonna put it right <laughs> here 
on this wild spot. So now I can actually go into C and start doing C stuff. Okay. Which is nice. Yeah. Just like, kind of like what you can do. Right. So I'll put that there and I'll figure out where I'm going to put this in a second. Um, because I'm doing this, I, I was not able to spend batteries because it's a wild card. Right. So I'm going to maintain my batteries, which is good. I like the batteries. Uh-huh. Um, so let's go ahead and um, get the two bonuses that are going to be below this. Yeah. So you can go up to B now. Yeah. You're also going to need to decide where to move your bulldozer. Well, I, I think I like this token right here. Okay. This one right here basically says during the consolidation phase, I can take an additional card. Yeah, that's nice. It's really I mean, nice. that's pretty, that's like my token kind Your of tokens, sweet, right? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So then that way I don't have to spend a whole action picking up cards if yeah. I can get things out right. So right. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be the first one there. Uh, so where was that? That was here? Yeah. Okay, so you can take a battery or you can take this right. residential income. You know what? Batteries Simple. are nice. I do like batteries. So let's go ahead and take one because it's going to get me two bucks back. Yeah, there's your battery. the pre-printed one that's on there. And here's your $2. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And two bucks. Where would you like to put your bulldozer? Uh, bulldozer. Are we going into C? <laughs> oh Eventually. Gosh. Are we going into C? Um, we are going into C. Okay. Right there. Wow. Much to do and see. You got some spaces to cover. I got some yeah, some money to spend. That's going to be expensive. <laughs> that's, well, the way I see it is if I'm not taking cards back, they're going to uh -huh. be played here. But I literally only have two cards in my hand. I think I'm going to have to take some cards back at some Ooh, point. That means this is my last chance, <laughs> if I care, to yeah. get another A contract in time for it's scoring. true. <sighs> you know what? I'm actually, sorry, knowing what I know, I'm yeah? actually going to go here instead. Sure. Yeah, knowing what I know. No problem. I'm not going to get another contract because it's going to be $8. That's eight points. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think the contract is going to be worth it. Since we are talking about getting into the B's and C's, I might as well start trying to make this road cheaper. So yeah, yeah for sure. I'm going to build an electrical tower. Where's the card? <laughs> you definitely have it. You have all your cards back. There, there you go. go. That card. So it's going to be in zone B. Uh, I have to pay two batteries since it's in zone B. Yeah. So there's that. So at least I don't have to pay any money. Sure. And it's going to be this electrical tower, which is going to get me an immediate bonus of one energy. So that's mm. nice. I have one. <laughs> yeah. uh, because it's that. that yeah, energy's that hard to come right by right now. I feel like. It is. I feel like we're making all the energy, but we don't have it. <sighs> Am I ready for B? I don't know. I don't know about that, Naveen. I'm gonna go here. I don't like the yeah. stress of being required to go to sea when it's so expensive. It's like $17. Yeah, it, I'm a little nervous about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Well, you can always pay me. It's okay. <laughs> it's also bad. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take some bonuses. Okay. So, um, oh, you were supposed to ditch one. Yes, I was supposed game. to ditch one. So, um, why don't you do that first? Let's get rid of one of those blue commerce ones. Which one, the top or the yeah, bottom? Yeah, just get rid well, let's see what's below them both, if you don't mind. Uh, $5 be... and a battery. Uh, let's get rid of the battery. Um, no, sorry, the, the, the $5 one. This one? Yeah, there you go. Okay. I was going to say, you may want to pay attention to where it is orthogonally, yep. like what it's adjacent to. To other things, yeah. Yeah. All right. So now I can take two things. Then I think I'm going to take these two. So this tile, which will get me a bump up on that, I think we said commerce. Yep. And then a battery. So this is going to go here. Okay. It'll let me move up one on this track. Which gets you a bonus. Which gets me the bonus of uh, of the, the, the pink umbrella. Yeah, so that'll go up. And these tiles count as symbols for scoring. I, it, I think specifically in the second scoring tile and um, at the end of the game, like mm -hmm. for this, but not for the first one because the first one's only symbols on A contracts. And then the battery. Mm -hmm. So here's that plus $2. Right. Okay. So that was this. I did my, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh no, I have to remove one. I'm gonna remove this token because it allows you to just immediately <laughs> uh, fulfill a solar hey, contract. That's my only way to do uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Take away access. Yeah. Cut off the power. Okay. Wow. All right, that's me. So it goes back to you for your final action. Yeah, I don't like the two cards I have. Um, Time to pick up. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's nice to have this bonus. It's not nice when you have the bonus, but you've collected all your cards. Yeah. Because that means you're not taking two back, but I have to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to put this down. Uh, I'm actually going to be collecting all my cards. Well, back. that's the thing. You don't have to. I could take a battery. You could pass. Just take a battery. But, and then you would take two cards back. I take a battery. You take these two cards back. And you would get a battery and $2. Battery is kind of nice because I would have five batteries and that means I could do one of these. You would the also... problem with it is I, in order to satisfy one of these, yeah. you need this symbol. Right. So it's just hanging out here. I can't do it. Yeah, but you would also 
get to go first next round. Whereas if you pick up your cards, because it moves your time tracker token, mm -hmm. I will get to go first next round. So it really right. matters. What matters is what you think is uh, important right now. Passing to get the battery is nice because it gives me five batteries. Five batteries means I could basically satisfy any one of these foreign contracts, which is nice, or put out uh, these energy towers. The problem is when I have all these batteries and this is trapped here, mm -hmm. I can't then use the batteries to then use this card to its advantage. Yeah, you know, I think I'm just going to put, I'm going to pick it up because I'd like to have access to these cards again. Okay. Um, getting these two off the end is nice. Yeah. But it's not as nice as having these cards again. So, and also this token. Yeah. So I'm going to just collect it all back. So this is going to go on top now. Okay. Uh, Which means at the end of the consolidation phase, we are going to have our scoring. Uh, We're scoring. Round. Although we were going to have it anyway, the only difference is because we both took this action, we both progressed one step. Right. It's going to progress again during the consolidation phase. Right, right. So we're going to have... It's going to push fa faster. Yeah, essentially less rounds. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it. That's it. Yeah, I had to okay. do it. Okay, so let's go into our consolidation phase, starting with me. Sure. I'm going to take these back. Oops. One, two, and three. Now I have to retrieve a card, which is hilarious. I thought I was being clever by playing this here, but <laughs> I have to take it back. Back it comes. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. I mean, you use it to, to put, build out infrastructure, yeah. to get the batteries and oh, do all the things. I'm not happy about that, I just have to say. <laughs> then of course I produce batteries, but actually I don't because here, here's my energy marker. Right, right. And then I am going to collect income. So my income is, is a lot better than yeah. it was before. Okay. <laughs> so this is three, four, five, plus five is 10. 11, 12, 13. Yeah. 13 nice. dollars. 13 points. Uh, and then I'm going to move up on the turn order track. So I guess I was wrong. Um, you still do get to yeah. go first on the next turn. I think we just realized it right now. Yeah. <laughs> this didn't change. This right. changed. Yes. So, yeah. And you only just turn order at the end of the round. Right. All right. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take down my discs. Get okay. back. Uh, <laughs> no cards. cards to pick up with my sweet bonus. Our timing. Our timing was not good. Okay. Uh, no batteries, also bad timing. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, get my money though. Yeah. Get your money though. Sounds familiar. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Eleven. Now, now. Doesn't feel as good. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then you you now progress your. Now I progress. I'm on top. Your so time then track. we are going to swap this, but we do have uh, we have met both met this or exceeded yeah. it, so we are going to have this scoring right here. All right, so this is our first scoring uh, phase, I suppose. Yep. In this first scoring phase, you are going to count all of the symbols only on your A contracts, and then you multiply it by wherever they are on those spaces. And so, as you can see, there's only four symbols because you don't count the remote contract Not in this one. Um, symbols in this mine one. Mine is very straightforward. Uh, mine is very straightforward. So all my A contracts are the, the houses. So oh, okay. I have one, two, three, because of the double arrow, yeah. four, five times five, so I get 25. Wow. I think that's good. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it sounds pretty good. Sounds you don't good. have any other symbols? No, I mean, I started the game with 25, so this is all profit now. No, I don't have any other symbols, that's it. Okay, yeah. so I think I have some of all four. Well, what are they? My, resident, my residential uh, track here, I have one, two, three. Times three. Times three, so that's nine. Okay. So I'll take 10 and give back one. And then I'm just going to calculate the other ones because there's sure. so few. I have one arrow here for the red house. That's so $2 times one. That's two. Uh, for the blue commerce building, I have two of them times five. So that's 10. So that's a total of 12. 12 yeah. And then the umbrella, I have one uh, symbol plus two. 14. So 14. 14 plus nine. So you had 23 total. Two, yeah. Okay. I'm going to get back one. So very pretty. Um, yeah, because I had uh, you had plus two on regular income, yeah, and I had plus two on bonus scoring, right? So we right, netted right. out kind of even kind of very in kind terms of equal, of yeah. So okay. that is gonna be how the first uh, tile here scores. As soon as we meet or cross this second money which symbol, is which is gonna be in the next round, definitely happening in the next. This round. is not friendly. This is gonna be whoever has the most in each uh, category will score yeah. for that category. Ooh, and so yeah. the, at like that, that point, that you can all. use symbols from all of your contracts your player board, as well as um, your bonus, uh, your scorecards, if you right, want to play any. Right. Uh, speaking of, do you have any scorecards in your hand that you would like to play? I have this one right here that we talked about earlier. I think I'm going to, how many A contracts do you have total? Five. You have five. I think I'm going to hang on to this because I could always do this at the very last second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you so. can always do it at the end of the game. Yep. No problem. I don't have any in my hand, so that's it. We are now moving on to the next round, starting with you, Naveen, your first player. Okay, um, now's the time to do it. I think I'm gonna build an energy tower with that sweet card 
that I've been wanting to use since the very <laughs> okay. beginning of the game so I can use batteries. So uh, I'm gonna, yeah, instead of spending 17 bucks, AKA 17 points, I'd rather yeah. use three batteries, meaning that foreign contract talk is gone. Oh, okay. It's gone. So one, two, three batteries, they're yeah. all out. All right. Uh, and I'm gonna build out this, this sweet, sweet <gasps> on C. So now I can tap into the C, uh, C contracts. I'm gonna slide myself away over here. Wow. Um, and then uh, I get a bonus because I unlock that. I get one energy bonus. Yes. Which could mean batteries coming my way in the future. Could be. You also have your pick of the litter as long as they are orthogonally adjacent. That's you right. can choose from anywhere on the board. I can go to C. These are end game scoring conditions. Right. So. Okay, I see a double combo that I really like. Yeah. Uh, so I think I'm gonna take this and this, and these are identical. Ooh. And yeah. these are all end game scoring. Uh, essentially, they are the exact same token. Yep. Uh, and essentially says you get two bucks for every electrical tower that you have built out. Oh boy. So I have one, two, three, four, five times two times two. So that'd be worth 20 points. Yeah. So I know I, I just grabbed 20 points. And if I build more, <laughs> then it's more points. A gold mine. You yeah. struck gold there. So I'm going to put I this mean... one here and then I'm just going to shift this one over like that because you have to. Yes. All okay. right. I think wow. that was everything. I really really didn't like that <sighs> oh no all right for my first action i am going to build an electrical tower I think electrical I've been tower trying to delay this for a long time so oh it's going to be this card okay and i'm going to build it here in b where my bulldozer is the two batteries or uh, money two batteries that makes sense so it's going to be my last two batteries sure. over here and i'm going to go ahead and build this out this is going to get me a bulldozer i believe yeah so let me just go ahead and put this here since I'm getting a bulldozer for putting that out, I'm just going to go ahead and put that. Um, you want the bonus card or do you want the uh, the income? I guess I'll take the income for yeah. now. Five so bucks? It's, sim it's simple. I need something simple in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Okay. And I guess it's time for me to move into C as well. Coming in. I don't like it, but okay. I'm here. I think we only have one more round after this. I think so. so yeah, it's just going to go boom, boom. I got to I gotta go there. Yeah. And for my bonus, I'm just going to take two of the pre-printed ones. Sure. I'm just going to take two batteries. Just get them right back. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. My battery market back. You just spent them to, to bring them back, and then you moved into a spot that's going to require you most likely batteries again. So, and yeah. I got four bucks. And you got four bucks out of By it. By the way, yeah. uh, I'm removing this token. Okay. You're going to hate on that I'm one? Move, Ooh. I'm going to move this token. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. I think I'm going to do uh, a wind farm. This is going to be very expensive, but I'm in C. Oh, you're going to build a wind farm? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I am going to do it. Is. It's going to be 17 bucks. Okay. Uh, here's 15, 16, 17. Okay. So there goes that. Yeah, that's a yes. lot. Yes, it feels like a lot. It $17 does. It does not feel farm. good. Um, and I'm going to put a bonus token on this. Now, the question is which one. I'll probably put this, uh, this advance on the blue. Okay. So let's go ahead and advance on the blue right now, which is that, this one? So this is the one that has that sweet bar that goes across. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Um, and then uh, I get, how much do I get here? I get four energy uh, produced because okay. of this. Yeah, so it's going to be three goes to seven. That's nice for this kind of lineup. Yeah. And then... Um, it's a lot of energy. So you paid $17. 17 bucks. For four energy, essentially. Yeah. Right? Yeah, for four energy and the right to like move this to now like here, okay. so that maybe in the so future I can fulfill, tower. yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, I can't even build a wind farm, which is poor planning on my part because I that's what I wanted to do next. So I'm to get have energy, to yeah. Do something. Else. I kept moving. That's what I get. That's what I get for just removing my bulldozers off to the nethers <laughs> over there. Okay, so for my second action, um, I I don't know what the ROI on this is. And <laughs> it's going to take me way too long if I'm going to try to sit and calculate it. Okay. So I think I'm just going to build an electrical tower as well. Since you put your, uh, yeah, you put yourself there. Yeah, and unfortunately I have to use this card. So it's in C, I have to pay the amount of money, which is 17. 17. So gone are the days of that battery. Of the cheapy. Yeah, the battery discount. No cheapies. So $17, I'm putting out my last one, my last electrical tower. Which gets you an income um, right from there. one of your favorites. Yeah. Which is $5. And I'm going to, just before I forget, I'm going to put a bulldozer sure. in the windmill area. Okay, so yeah. yes, this gets me an income of a track of... My choice, so clearly it's going to be There you go, so it only costs you 12 $5. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, and then I get to take two bonus tiles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this one, 
So this will allow me to build two windmills for in the, one turn. In the one turn for the price of one, essentially. You put two yeah. on there. That's really nice. When things are 17, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And then this is a, an end game uh, thing that allow me, allows me to, it looks like I get to score. Uh, a foreign the, contract a second time. Yes, yes, yes. So it's in my best interest ah, to try to get one of those. See what you're doing. <laughs> all right. With all the batteries you're going to get. Uh, and then I get to ditch one. So I think I'm just going to ditch the other one. What does that say? That it's the exact the same okay. as a foreign contract, but I'm okay. taking it out. Okay. It is out. Okay. Back to you. Final action before we... Uh, have our second scoring time. sure you know what this isn't what i thought it was so i'm just gonna put this back okay um this is basically you get to take the income of one of the icons on the back of a foreign contract card yes so okay it's not going to be as lucrative mm, yeah, as right. i thought because right as of right now five is the max you can score so it's only going to be worth five right now technically. yeah i'm just okay. gonna take a specialist card okay. i'm just gonna take the umbrella action card at the bottom left this one yeah Okay. Let's just do that. All right. So Thank you. It's been a while we since have. we... Oh, gain a bulldozer and change turn order. Oh, okay. Seems a little late for that. There you go. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be helpful right now. Sure. Uh, I'm still going to ditch out the one that I that I removed. All right. So now it truly goes back to you for your final action. Back to me. Okay. I think, I think I'm going to get a contract. So, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one up in the A section. Okay. Um, knowing that A's, you want to have the most A's. So right. I might as well go for it. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab this contract here. Since I do have an electric tower there, it's only going to cost me one energy. And eight bucks. And eight bucks, yes. <laughs> Not something I want to pay, but no. I'll begrudgingly pay. Yeah, here you go. I get two, two back. Change. Uh, and then this one right here, this A, I'm just going to slip it right over here. Okay. And that gets me what it says below. It just gets me the energy that I spent right back. Nice. So that way I'm going to still generate the three batteries that I really want. Yeah. Uh, this will then go out onto that location right there. And because I did that, this bumps now into this slot. I get one of these cards over here. Nice. All right. I think I, yeah, I'm not too happy with these cards, but I think I might be able to use this. In oh, fly. okay. So I might be able to buy myself some energy. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's that. This is going to flip over. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, and I that was my third turn. I had to move that. There you go. All right. So my last action, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to build a wind farm okay. because that was the whole point of me taking that bonus tile, okay. right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and play this, and it has to be in C because this is a very expensive wind farm. Again, I did not calculate my return on these. Yeah. Both of these actions that I'm uh, deciding to You're take bonus here. You're going to bonus chit it though, right? So for all we know, I could end up in the negatives <laughs> for this whole uh, series of actions. But okay. yes, I'm going to put my bonus, which is gonna be an energy or three bucks or three bucks you so are this getting is gonna a ton get me, of energy right now i'm gonna get eight because i'm putting two wind farms out yeah plus potentially one nine this will be a ten a if so ten, which is not in the margins it's not in the margins but it also will get me an, it's an additional point. point or three three bucks is three points yeah i'll take the three bucks yeah i think yeah yeah so there sure. you go so I have to pay, spend uh, 17. Which is technically 14 because you're getting the three bucks, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'll spend 15 and take back one. So right. I got the three bucks. I get to put out two wind farms uh, in the same space. Oops. Yeah. Because... Two player game, there's plenty of space. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of space. On the opposite side, there are spaces that are only for four players. Right. And, you know, you would have to just ignore those spaces <laughs> for a three player game. What do you want to do with your... Uh... That is a good question. Um, are you going to send it off into the, the graveyard? I mean, the thing is, after this round, these are the only two scoring conditions that really matter. Yep. Unless I have a scoring card in my hand, which I don't even have. <laughs> nope. Uh, I just collected these action cards and didn't use them. I'm going to go here. I'm just going to go to... Ooh, do I even care? I'm going to go here. I'm going to go... Sorry. Back to B. I'm going to here ah, to this B. other B. Yeah, I'm going back to B. It's cheaper. It's cheaper to build an electrical tower. If you don't care about the bonus tiles in Zone C... Who cares? There you go. Right? That's the spirit. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so for the two uh, wind farms that I put there, I'm going to get four Times each. Two. Yeah. So that's eight. Eight energy, I go up to nine. nine. So producing batteries is going to be nice and sweet this time around. So I'm going to make up for last batteries. time. Yep, yeah, for sure. Hopefully. All right. That is the end of, it, yeah. of the round. So Naveen, take it, take it away with the consolidation All right. phase. One, two, three comes back. For me, because of my bonus, I get to take two back. Yep. So I'm going to leave this contract there, I believe. And okay. Then, right? Don't be... 
Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's take these two back. You're going into the final round now. I so know, yeah. Got to be cautious. I do. Okay, so those are those. Uh, let's produce batteries. Batteries. So I have a one, two, three to produce, which is going to be six bucks in addition to that. Yep, here's your three batteries and six. Six. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Okay, my income is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus six. So that is 13. Uh, 13. All right. All right. Uh, and then I move my token. So I'm on the dollar sign. I know you're going to get on the dollar sign. So yeah, we are going to have a to, secondary scoring. We're going to have that scoring um, yeah. after this. Okay. All right, I'll take mine back. I can uh, pick up a card of my choosing. Mm -hmm. And since I think, me thinks I'll be having some batteries in my future, I'm going to pick this one up. Sure. It's been the lifeline <laughs> of my sure. entire game. Sure. So I'm going to produce batteries this time. So I'm all the way over here, which means I produce one, two, three, four. Eight so bucks. Four batteries and eight, dollars. and eight bucks. So I'm going to take 10 and give back two. Okay. I clicked income. So here's five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Also 13. Okay. So. Still okay. kind of in line with yours. You, yeah. Neither of us are really pushing you that far up on the, it's hard to, I mean. the income track here. So yeah. there's that. And now I get to move up on the time track. Yeah. So now so, we're going to invert this. Yes. We have met the S. This is the time you check for it. And right. we have done it. So we're going to have uh, the scoring for this one. All right. So now it's a competition. <laughs> so starting with the resident symbols. How many resident symbols do you have just okay. all well, on your PGI? They're board? only resident symbols You're, for me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, because that's a double arrow. So I have six houses and literally nothing else. Well, no, I'm sorry. Okay. That's not true. I have one of these. Uh, these do come into effect in this uh, phase. So. Okay. Well, I don't have that. <laughs> I think okay. I had three. I have three houses. So I don't get to score the, that income. Only you do. So I get six times six, which is 36. Ooh, that's bad. That's Can I have four back? Yeah. I'm just going to give you 40. Okay. Just call it a day. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four. All right. So next uh icon is a red one uh -huh. i have one i have none great so i get two <laughs> bucks i'm just going to keep track of this two okay um the next one are the the blue i have one okay i have one two three yep so i i get it so three times five okay. it's 15 so 15 it's a total of 17. 17. So let me take okay. that now uh, and here's there you go three okay then we have the umbrella umbrella i have none i have one Okay. <laughs> my one umbrella one time so two bucks two bucks and then finally we have remote contracts neither of us fulfilled any remote contracts yeah it's a lot to do it is can't do it all can't do it all so do you um, have any of those symbols at all i don't think so do you no okay uh, so friendly nothingness <laughs> yeah i guess all right all right so uh, <laughs> yeah. there you go i guess neither so, of us invested in remote ah, contracts remote. so we're going to move into the last round uh, and the reason why is because after this cons consolidation phase we're going to be moving into this that's space right, right no here, matter we'll what have, it's moving there we'll have end games so we basically have three turns yes that's so, the end of it oh, that wow. is the end of it okay. and it's starting with me yeah, uh you. well i do have all these batteries now right you know what? Before I take my first action, I just realized I don't have any more electrical towers. Yeah. <laughs> so me moving this here is not really a thing. That's right. Do you mind if I just move it off? Do you care? Are you going to take that? Uh, like, meaning like you would have technically moved it on your turn? Yeah. I understand. Go yeah, for it. Yeah. That would have it was just a... Uh, Long, I know you're not using my long game. Over. Hard to remember everything. So yeah, I get you. Speaking of hard to remember everything, it looks like you can top deck a card. You can you top deck a card. Don't want to take any of the showing uh, specialist cards. Mm -hmm. So can you? Since I've taken, I've taken three that I technically didn't really need. So if I could do this whole game over again, I would have just top decked <laughs> two of these. Sure. You know the feeling. So do you want action cards or would you like? I'd uh, like a scoring, scoring card. Scoring card please. makes sense towards the end here. Yes. Thank you. Should this we all my, know what it is? My first scoring card of the game, and I'm not going to use it. <laughs> nice. Because it's essentially that last one it's there. This one, but for B1. Specifically for B1, something that I cannot get, okay. which is hilarious. But that's what happens when you top deck. There you go. So there you go. All right, for my first action, I'm going to do something that I probably should have done way earlier in the game. It's sort of late now, but okay. I'm going to take a foreign contract. Sure, yeah, okay. So that's going to be this card. Right okay. here. Yep. So in order to take a foreign contract, you have to uh, do it in zone B because those are the only two zones they're in. Yeah. Um, unfortunately for me, I'm only in B2. I don't have um, one in B1. Oh, I see. Okay. So I have to pay uh, 10 bucks to do this. 
So here's my 10. And my electrical tower is here. So I get to take one of these three. Okay. And I'm going to take this one. It looks like the top two are identical. So I have to pay three batteries to do this. Yep. And I get $10. Plus, so you get your money back. Yeah, I basically get my money back for that. Plus whatever my income is on this track, which is three, and the umbrella, which is two. So an additional okay. five. So that netted me five. Sure. But there you go. There you I've go. got a foreign, <laughs> a foreign contract. So that is my first action. So now it's to you. Okay, so to me... And technically for these uh, foreign contract cards, you can use these symbols for the symbol scoring, but because the only scoring condition we're going to have left are the end game scoring, you don't really need the symbols. Right. Because these two symbols are not that one, which is the one that really matters. Sure. So let me go ahead and refill this. Ooh, this one needs four batteries. Which you don't it'll have. Score the, it'll score that twice. I see. Okay. Okay. I'm going to spend my uh, first action. I'm going to be using my wild okay. to do a contract. And I'm going to do it in C, which is very expensive here. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, <laughs> uh, this is going to cost me 17. Okay. Uh, okay. So, and then I'm going to take this contract right here. Okay. This is going to get me a double house bump and a double commerce bump. Oh, that's nice. So double house would be one, two. Uh-huh. Double commerce would be one, two. Uh-oh. And then I also get the umbrella, which is nice. How many um, of those commerce symbols do you have there, Naveen? How many commerce symbols do I have? I have one, two, three total. Uh-oh. What do you have? I have three. Three. So as it stands, nobody's going to get this if, That's right. if it stays the way it does. I have to figure out where to place this. I think I'm legally allowed to place here. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take that and put that right in that slot. So that's going to allow me to bump up one income. Okay. So let's go ahead and just drop this in there. This went onto... Is it this contract here? Yeah. Uh, uh huh. And then now, which one do I want to go up? So I cannot physically move into this slot. You here. paid four energy? Uh, I have to pay four energy. Yes, oh, okay. okay. I was like, that's okay. a lot of energy. Yeah. Uh, so I cannot move into this because I'm, I'm stuck with this. But if I, if what's funny is if I brought up the rear here, that would get me one extra buck during income. Yeah, that is true. There we go. I'll go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. I'll take an extra buck. All right. And like Monique, I'm going to top deck an end game scoring card. Oh, Let's okay. see what we have. We'll just expose it. You didn't want that card? No. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not too late. So this gets you money for each of those investor um, tiles you have at the right. end of the game. And it gets you money depending on what a scoring uh, phase or scoring round when you, you play this. It in. So we are not in the first and second anymore. We're going to be the best in, case in the scenario. third. It's the best yeah. case scenario is $10 for each of those. It's basically saying that either my second or my third turn, I have to take a loan if right. I want this to work out. Yeah, neither of us have done that. Yeah. So you can. Ugh. It's just that you is would get a it. more optimal thing to do? You yeah. would get at most like $17 plus that which is 25 dollars right plus the 10 which is 35 by the end of the game you have to pay back 30 so it nets you five, five. so huh. i mean you don't have to play the probably card. not <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. that is the the top decking yeah uh thing okay all right done yep okay so back to me for my second action you know what this might be a really um monetarily nitpicky i guess but for my second action i'm gonna pass because you take a battery uh, yeah, it's, I get a battery. Which gets you two it bucks. It gets me two bucks. And two points. It's better than spending like $6 or $14 on something that's not going to give me that much return. Right. Uh, I could try to get the $15 from you, but that's going to require me to fulfill a contract. Yes. That'll be really expensive. And fulfilling contracts because this is in play. Mm -hmm. Every time you spend energy, it's you're technically spending points. Yeah, I'm spending points. Yeah. Okay, second action here. I'm going to go ahead and place that down. I'm going to play this card here, and I am now going to also do a foreign contract. Nice. Uh, so I have the right to do it uh, in Argentina, which is going to require the blue. I have uh, my infrastructure built up here. Yeah. Uh, it's going to cost me 10, but honestly, I'm going to get the 10 back on this contract right here. So technically, 10 out becomes 10 back in. Okay. Okay, so it's going to cost me four batteries, though. These four yep. batteries I've been hoarding. Okay. So the money I spent here in 10 is the money I get right back here. And then now I get income for my commerce buildings where it is twice. So I'm at five, so it's going to be five times two, which is 10. Nice. There and then go. also this gets me at the end of the game one of these blue symbols as yeah. well as one of these red symbols. So that's that's really nice for me. Yeah. So I'll just kind of keep it here. The red symbol won't really matter. But no. The blue one, the blue the one, blue one will. One will. Yeah. 
So that's really nice. Yeah. Um, I kind of snoozed on the foreign contracts and building an electrical tower there. Right. I technically could have uh, gotten one of these and just used Naveen's, but I would have to pay Naveen right. the $10, which That's a 20 not... point swing then at that point. Yeah. 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 All right, for my last action, um, I might as well just uh, be competitive, I think, for okay. this. Okay. And I think the only other way to do it is the way that I was just mentioning. I'm going to fulfill another foreign contract. Okay. But I'm going to use your electrical tower. You're using my electrical so tower? So you're getting six bucks. I'll take six bucks. So I'm going to pay the six dollar cost to Naveen. There you go. Okay. So that is not... Not ideal. Not ideal, yeah. But I'll, I'll it, it might be better than, than not doing that, right? It's better than me getting the 15 out, right? Yeah. Because then it's only a three differential. Right. right. I have four batteries. I can't fulfill this one, but I think I can do this one. Sure. And so it's going to cost three batteries. I get $10. You get 10 bucks, yeah. So you, spend, plus so you get four. Yeah. what I have in blue, which is five, plus what I have in red, which is two. So 17. Okay. Yeah. So I think that was the best one. Yeah, that was not bad. Contracts. Yeah, so you get 17. So I'm going to take... 20 and give back three okay, this is um, and then this will go into my area here and it gives me an additional one of those uh yeah so we both have blue two symbols we both have four blue symbols because i have one two right. three on my chit four on my card mm -hmm. we're tied we're tied so i think that was my final action though right yeah that's action number three so that's it that is the end of my game for you huh for me you have one last action naveen do i take a loan just to get that plus five i mean that's better funny. than unless you can like really secure something else all right while well, you were taking your turn i kind of figured that the most i can get on this turn is two points oh, okay. and that would be by passing and taking a battery okay everything else is very cost prohibitive so i'll go all ahead right. and pass uh do that and take myself a nice little battery there you go there it is two buccarinos yeah and part of it has to do with the end game scoring tiles that we're using because right. a lot of it was already done you cannot get any more a bonus tiles uh, yeah i can't right? get any more a bonus tiles because they got wiped out real early and you can't uh, get any energy for free couldn't fulfill a contract because literally see. all three of my contract cards were out there none of my cards had contract abilities on them so yeah, that was yeah. gone um and so i had this i could have taken a loan and i did the math on it i would literally net the exact same for so a little bit more work so I figured let's take a battery. I like batteries. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I like batteries too. All right. <laughs> that is the end. That's the end of the game. Yep. It's the end of the game. We're going to have a consolidation phase though. So uh, starting with me, I'm just going to take these back. It doesn't really matter anymore about yep. taking these. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do that. I finally make some batteries. So I'm here. I'm going to get one, two, three, four. Yeah, which is eight dollars. So I, yeah, I guess I didn't spend these. No. Right? Oh, so that was really worth it. So. Ooh. That's, four, that might be the difference. Dang. Four batteries and eight bucks. You're, you're doing right? pretty good here. Three, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Five, I think six, you might seven, have me here. Eight. I don't know. I I really, truly do not know. Yeah, I think you so, do. So eight bucks because of the four batteries times two. Okay. So I produce my batteries. I'm going to get my income. So I don't think it's changed. It's five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, yeah. It has not. It should not have gone down. <laughs> that's for sure. That's true. Here's okay. 15. I'm going to get back two. And then I will progress my marker. Okay. Please, for the last so last space. It's saying we are going to have a scoring. Uh, well, uh, you are going to say I'm that. I'm going to say it. Yeah, so, okay, so off. Yeah. Uh, bring back a card because of my bonus. It's two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, produce batteries. I only produce one, which is two bucks. Yep. There you go. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. Uh, and then I think. You get your income. I get my income. So it's going to be eight plus five, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, here's 20. That'll take. You just give me one 20. back. Thank you. Perfect. All right, and then go ahead and uh, advance your advance. marker. Advance. All right, we have both met this location. The red <laughs> indicates the end game. We're here. We're at the end of the game. End game. So okay. let's go into some final scoring. Sure. So the first things first, it's all labeled here, actually, in order. First right. things first, we're going to score these two end game tiles. Right. And so the first of which is tile A. A. Whoever has the most uh, A contracts okay. will get $15. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five. Six. Oh. I held this card at the very end. You did. This makes it six. One, two, three, four, five. I'm counting it again to see if the number changes. <laughs> so I'm going to cash this in at this very end here. This is okay. exactly why I wanted to hold on to this to the end. All right. So I, get, <laughs> I have six A contracts. All right. Here, you get All it. All right. There's so, five back. I get 20. You. Congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Now we get $1 for every energy we have left over. I have nine. I have three. So that's what that is. Okay. Here's your... 
three. Okay. I'm going to take 10 and give back one. Okay. All right. So tile B says, whoever has the most of those blue ah. building symbols? <laughs> Naveen, how many do you have? I have one, two on this contract, three on the bonus tile, four on the uh, foreign contract. So okay. That's four total. I also have four. One, two, three, and four. Yes. Do you you don't have any double arrows on yours? I, I this is a double arrow. One, oh, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we tied. Tied. Nobody gets I it. I liked it's it better than Naveen getting it. <laughs> I wanted it. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, we have five dollars for each of the zone A, A bonus tiles. So we we learned early that you got twenty. Yes. And then uh, I got ten. I have twenty. You have ten. That's okay because yeah. you're gonna get some real nice points I in might. your end game here. Okay. Okay, so that's it for these bonus tiles. Now, if you have any um, scoring cards in your hand that you want to play, now is the time to do that. I mean, I this would have only scored had I uh, had taken out a loan. Yeah. So this is not going to happen. Yeah, same thing with this. I had top deck this, and this is the one that scores if you have a B1 contract. Right. I never, I played chicken on that, in that zone. So Didn't happen. I, it's not going to happen, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, then... We're going to score our bonus tiles that have end game scoring on them. Right. So I don't have any. That's right. <laughs> Naveen, you're, I do. you're like pride this and joy. Is it. So I have two identical. So let's just call this a 4x okay. on this. And for every uh, electric tower that yep. you have built, you get four points from me because two right. times two, right? So one, two, three, four, five times four. So that's 20. That's nice. Yes. There you go. There we go. Uh, and I think that's it because that's the last yeah. thing is if you took out, if Loans. you had any venture or investors, then you have to pay back thirty dollars for each one of those. But neither of us did that. This we didn't game. do it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and count, count up our money, sure. shall we? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I have my number. Do you have yours? I do. I'm a little nervous about it though. I I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go first. Yeah. One fifty six. Oh, what is it? <laughs> One fifty three. <gasps> Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, that could have been anything. It could have been anything. <laughs> it could have been the $3 wow. on this shit. That was three, oh. three points. Three points. Wow. wow. What Dang. a, okay. What a slim victory there. <laughs> well. Wow. <laughs> 153 156 okay the first the first couple times we played it monique uh, dominated me every single time so well, i felt a little bit better i don't know i don't know about that dominated we, we definitely <laughs> we both scored this is the highest we both scored yeah i mean there's still some aspect of the game that we did not partake in because yeah. the timing wasn't right specifically for i our could never play. do a solar yeah we didn't do any solar contracts yeah. i was the only one who had that action card and i kind of blocked it off from you yeah. but it didn't end up being lucrative anyway because right. of the way you have to you have to take from one side of the branch kind yeah. of thing um we also didn't take out any loans so i couldn't find an opportune time to do that yeah i know and you pushed up pretty far up on your income track i did not i did i i, I really it, towards the end there it's like when you're in c and you want yeah. to spend 17 you're like spending 17 what am i getting back for that you yeah know? so yeah i just couldn't figure out like what the right combination of, of things was towards the end of the game i thought i was just mm -hmm. trying to collect points but you know <laughs> i mean three point differential that's, that's pretty yeah close that's really this. close yeah. I also didn't take many contracts this time around uh, because it didn't seem lucrative in the moment to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, but there you go. Uh, yep. That is Pampero. Um, as a reminder, there's a solo mode in this game as well. There's also an advanced mode, an expert mode, I mm -hmm. guess expert variant that we didn't display today. And a longer game. You can play with uh, an overlay that takes it one more round and it kind of changes when the uh, scoring times happen. But again, this is all prototype. So things in the final copy are subject to change. But again, if you want to know more information about the game, uh, then go ahead and check out their Kickstarter, which is linked in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Um, if we do find it that we made any mistakes in this game, this is kind of a denser game. Uh, we'll add them to the Klingon subtitles as well as the description box down below. So thank you all so much for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.